Hello, 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 everybody out there in Facebook world. It's been a while since you girls been on. Um, and I'm actually to the point where I'm about to just get off social media already. And I hate that because there's people that I love to get to see. And I know there's people that love getting to see me. But it's just getting out of control. And I'm just so over it. But I got on here to say one thing, and that is I've seen many things being posted and many things being said, um, and sadly, many things being said by church leaders and things that I want to just say, um, Trump is not going to save this world, um, Nobody else is going to save this world, y'all. The only person that is going to save this world is the Messiah at this point. Um, I'm not saying that we shouldn't pray. Um, I'm not saying, um, yeah, that we shouldn't have hope and things, but we need to have our hope placed where it should be, and that is in the Lord because... No man is coming to save us. Um, and if there is a man that presents as the Savior, then um, you need to be reading your word because uh, that's going to be very telling. So, hello, my angel cousin Chassie. I love you so much. Hey, Sister Maya. I love you so much. Anyway, um, yeah, I just really want to say that because so many people right now are not looking at all of this the way they should be, and they're not paying attention to what needs to be paid attention to. I get it. You know, there's a lot of horrible things happening. Thank you, sweetie. There's a lot of horrible things happening in the world, Um and I understand that, but we need to understand that it's not flesh and blood that we're fighting against here. It is principalities. It is spiritual, y'all. This 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 war, this situation that we're in is so spiritual. Hey, Joyce, um, and we're missing that element. We we are missing that. Uh, we get so caught up in all the details of everything that's going on. And we're missing the fact that this is a spiritual battle. Um, we don't have a race issue. We have a sin issue. We have a heart issue. Um, and that's the core of the problem. Racism is just the symptom. Just like, you know, when you get sick um, and you go to the doctor, like I have hypertension, okay? So when I go to the doctor, what do they want to do? They want to treat my hypertension, but they don't want to get to the root of the problem of why I have hypertension. And that's what we're missing. Okay, if there's racism in this world today, that's a symptom of something that's much deeper. And that is what we need to get to. We need to get to the core of the deeper issue. And the deeper issue is a heart issue. Um, the deeper issue is sin. Um, yeah, we need to get to our word, we need to get prepared, and we need to pay attention to the bigger picture um, because there's a bigger picture going on here. And the rest of everything that's going on is just details. Should you know what's going on? Yeah, to a certain extent, you should know what's going on, um, but we need to look at it through the correct lens um, because at this point, I truly believe that we're in the last days, guys. I believe that the Bible is being fulfilled before our very eyes. Does it look like what I thought it was going to look like? Not really. But now that it's playing out and it's unfolding, I can see why it is the way it is. Um, but we need to look at this from a different perspective. We need to stop getting caught up in our feelings and our emotions, we need to step back and we need to look at things from a different perspective. We need to understand that the issues that they're throwing at us 
are just symptoms. They're not the root problem. We need to deal with the root problem. And the root problem is spiritual. So anyway, just got on here to say that to y'all. I hope it helps somebody. I hope it blesses somebody. Uh, I hope it makes you think. Um, and I love you guys. So I will talk to you soon. Have a blessed night.